The Arbor Scientific Super Springy is not only useful for demonstrating wave properties and characteristics, it also serves as a great tool for investigating standing waves. I'm Dr. Joel O'Brien from Ball State University, and in this video I'll show you how your students can perform a data collection activity on standing waves using the Super Springy and the stopwatch. A standing wave is formed by the interference of two identical traveling waves continuously passing through the same medium from opposite directions. One convenient way to produce standing waves is to allow a traveling wave sent continuously down the super springy to interfere with its own reflection. In the next video clips, you will see the super springy stretched out a distance of 24 feet. By adjusting the frequency of the waves, the wavelength can be manipulated so that different numbers of loops can be formed. As with all standing waves, two loops equals one full wavelength. Since the super springy is stretched out 24 feet, the wavelength when two loops are formed will be 24 feet. The wavelength when three loops are formed will be 16 feet, and when four loops are formed, the wavelength will be 12 feet. With five loops, the wavelength will be two-fifths of the 24-foot total distance. You can determine the frequency of the waves by timing by motion for 10 complete cycles. The frequency in hertz will be 10 cycles divided by the time in seconds to produce the 10 cycles. You can then multiply the frequency of the standing wave by its wavelength to determine the speed of the wave in the super springy. Since the tension in the springy remain constant for all trials, you should expect to calculate the same speed for the wave, regardless of the number of loops formed. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to visit arborside.com to download laboratory instructions for this activity and find many other useful ideas for your science classroom.